The most important thing for me as an educator, and especially as a philosopher, is to show students the ways in which what we discuss inside the classroom and what they're reading for class is relevant for their everyday lives. And I think we're exposing them to new ideas, to the ways in which what they learn in their science and engineering classes has relevance to the everyday world. We're reminding them um, that they have a responsibility once they enter the workplace, once they, they enter their professional careers. They have a responsibility to reflect on why they do what they do, um, not just how. I'm especially excited about our new curriculum, which will afford every Stevens student an opportunity to obtain really intimate and in-depth knowledge of all of the humanistic disciplines that we offer at the College of Arts and Letters. And it's going to be done in such a way where every student will be reading the same works. And so they'll all have opportunities to talk about these works outside the classroom. I think the most rewarding um, experience I have is when I get an email from a student saying, Professor, I went to the movies the other day and it reminded me of what Plato said in the Apology. Or um, I was talking to my, my, my mother when I went home over the weekend and, and I was trying to convince her that, that Immanuel Kant had a point when he said such and such. And just the fact that they're thinking about what we teach them outside is, is really, it's, it's an incredible experience. This is probably the only time in their lives where the most important mission for them will be to learn. And that it's just as important to learn about oneself as it is about one's discipline. I think creativity is really the key to success. Um, you know, Stevens has now branded itself as the innovation university. And I think you, that one cannot be properly innovative without knowing what it means to be creative. And you could be as potentially creative as you want, but if, unless you're given an arena to develop that and exercise it, then it will never have an impact or never come to fruition. In the College of Arts and Letters, our classes give them an opportunity to reflect in such a way where they realize that every discipline requires a human perspective, whether it's biomedical engineering or civil engineering, that we can't lose sight of the fact that all of these professions have an impact on their fellow human beings in a really significant way. And I think engaging with classical texts, talking with their classmates about really important ideas um, reminds them that whatever they do, it's in a society of fellow human beings. Being across the river from New York City presents a, a host of opportunities to show how academic material can come alive. So for example, one semester I was teaching uh, a course on existentialism and there happened to be a play off-Broadway about the life of Simone de Beauvoir. So I gathered the students and ran across the river, went to see the play and they were just amazed that this academic material, this, this course material that they were reading about could come to life in, in a play. Of course, having some of the greatest museums in the world right across the river is just invaluable. We were studying Picasso in my aesthetics class and of course there were uh, about 10 or 12 different exhibits of Picasso's work all over New York City. So we went and visited and got a chance to stand before the works and talk about them in, in a way that no textbook can allow you to do. I'm incredibly optimistic, especially because a place like Stevens recognizes the importance of what we do in the College of Arts and Letters. So that it's not just about the technical training, it's not just about the scientific um, knowledge base, it's about giving students an opportunity to understand why they do what they do, what, what kind of impact what they do will have on the rest of the world. So I'm heartened to know that Stevens, going back 140 years, has recognized the importance of the humanistic disciplines, of cultivating creativity, and it, it continues that tradition, and if anything, it just emphasizes it even more.